How would you describe her style? For the most part, it's realistic. Um, but occasionally it goes, it becomes very poetic and very um, impressionistic. So for instance, there's a scene in the second um, volume of Tree of Life where it, it's, a, it's a true scene, where, they, where they're emptying the hospital of um, patients and throwing them down from windows. And her description of that is more impressionistic than it is realistic. They're just throwing people out of windows. It's horrible. Um, and then there's, um, there's, there's a scene in the third volume where um, one of the main characters is tortured. And um, the, uh, you see the torture, uh, you see the results of the torture, actually, through ants to ants who are climbing up his, his body um, and drowning in his blood. So it's all uh, narrated from the point of view of the ants. And, and as you're reading, you realize what's happened to this man. But you only get, you, you, you're not told that directly. You're told that through what is happening to the ants. And the ants start to become, uh, to take on the symbolism of Jews drowning in blood. Um, so she she can and occasionally does uh, become um, almost uh, I don't even know what to call it not surrealistic really but um, she she sort of um, blots the reality by or or comes at it indirectly uh, through other means and also the the thing that I I'm very impressed with in her writing is that she doesn't um, sugarcoat anything. Like if there were Jews who didn't behave properly, she writes about them. She doesn't uh, portray all the Jews as vic you know, innocent victims. They're not, they're human. Like she portrays them as human beings. I think that's, re sorry, that's really one of the um, achievements of the novel.